The fifth station, now we are reaching after being resurrected, and we will be assembled, and we will be driven to the land of assembly. Are you following the stations? Okay, this is it. I will leave this for you, inshallah. Okay. Now you go to this Ard al Mahshar, the land of gathering. On that day, of course, everything will be different. No mountains, uh, totally everything, the whole cosmos will be different. The Prophet ﷺ said in Bukhari, on the day of resurrection, mankind will be gathered on an earth that is reddish white, reddish white, like a fine loaf of bread. That means made from pure flour. That land will have no landmarks. No landmarks for anybody. This is in Bukhari. And there Iblis addresses his followers. Iblis what? He gives the khutbah. All his friends. Hmm? He addresses them. Because Iblis, his followers, they will be with him. As you know, Allah said, وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانُ لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعْدَ الْحَقِّ وَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ So on that day, Iblis will say, Hey guys, Allah وَعَدَكُمْ وَعْدَ الْحَقِّ Allah promised you the truth. But I know I fooled you. Not only that, he will be reprimanding and rebuking his followers. Imagine. We obeyed you and followed you and now you forsake us. Yes, because you were fools. And always you are saying, Shaitan, Shaitan. Did you see me? Hmm? Have you seen me? No. I just called you and you came running to me. That's it. So who should be blamed? وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانَ لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعَدَ الْحَقِّ وَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ فَلَا تَلُومُونِ وَلُومُوا فُوسَكُمْ مَا أَنَا بِمُصْرِخُكُمْ وَمَا أَنْتُمْ بِي مُصْرِخِينَ I didn't force you. I didn't do anything to you. So? So now all of us will be in the hellfire. All of us. That's why the Quran said إِنَّمَا يَدْعُوا حِزْبَهُ لِيَكُونُوا مِنْ أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ Why he's working 24 hours around the clock? Iblis doesn't sleep. And all his team around the clock working. Because he does not want to be alone in the hell. Fire. He wants people with him. So he addresses his followers, rebukes them, blames them, and then all of them will be gathered to the hellfire. The fifth is station. Station number five, the Shafa'ah. Because now we are in the land of Mahshar, Ard al Mahshar, the land of gathering. So now the Shafa'ah starts. Because the, the sun is above the heads, people are sweating. Some people's sweat reaches their ankles, their knees, their waist, their mouth. May Allah save us from all that. And there are people who will be in the shade of the mighty throne of Allah. May Allah make us among them. Amen. And people will be having different shades. Al Abdu Vidli Sadaqatihi Yomal. 
Qiyamah. Everyone will be in the shade of his sadaqah, his charity. You want to have shade? Give. Spend. So you will have shade. You spend more, the shade will be bigger. Subhanallah. Al-abdu fi dhilli sadaqathi yawm al-qiyamah. And some they will be in the shade of the mighty throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the shafa'ah. Shafa'ah, my dear brothers and sisters, that means the Prophet sallallahu will intercede and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to start the hisab, the reckoning. Because the people are in such distressing situation sun above the heads yes they just want to to finish it whether to go to the hellfire or to go to the jannah and that's why they will come to all the prophets starting with adam and you know the hadith and then and everyone will give an excuse go to so and so go to and so until they come to the Prophet Muhammad said, yes, inshallah. And the Prophet ﷺ will not intercede immediately. What will he do? An idea? The first thing the Prophet ﷺ will do? He will prostrate. I prostrate before Allah. And I praise Allah and I thank Allah. And then Allah says, Sal tu'ta. Washfa tu shafa. Now, Muhammad, raise your head. Ask, and we will grant you whatever you want. Intercede, and your intercession will be accepted. Because the Prophet will not intercede without Allah's permission. No one can intercede on the day of resurrection without getting the permission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the shafa'ah, my dear brothers and sisters, on the day of resurrection, mainly for the sinners. There are different types of shafa'ah, but for the sinners. Those who committed major sins. Are you following? That's why deviant sects in the history of Islam, deviant groups such as the Mu'tazila, this is in history, the Mu'tazilites of the Mu'tazila, they denied that there is intercession. They said there is no intercession. Why? Because they believe, and the Khawarij as well, because they believe if you commit a major sin, and you die as a perpetrator of major sin, you remain in the hellfire for forever. You are a kafir. So if they accept the, this aqidah and this belief and the ahadith about the shafa'ah, this goes against what they believe. That's why they rejected all the ahadith about the shafa'ah. Are you following? But the shafa'ah is true, haq, Mentioned in the Quran, in the Sunnah of the Prophet, etc. And I want you to memorize the following. There are four elements of the Shafa. How many elements? Four. Four components. Number one, Shafa. I'll explain to you what's that. A Shafa. Mashfur ilay. Shafa. Mashfur ilayhi. Those brothers with notes, right, right. Shafi. I'll tell you the meaning in English. Shafi. Mashfur ilayhi. Mashfur lahu. And mashfur fi. How many? Four. Shafi means the intercessor. The intercessor. The one who? Intercedes. Who will be the intercessor on the day of resurrection? Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, so Shafa. Mashfur ilayhi, the one 
whose the one whose ex acceptance for the intercession is sought who's that who will accept the intercession of the prophet allah mashfu' ilayhi the one whose help and that is allah is sought that is called mashfu' ilayhi mashfu' lahu the one for whom the help or the intercession is made who are they the sinners the sinners mashfu' lahu so we have shafi' mashfu' ilayhi mashfu' lahu are you following so the mashfu' lahu is the one for whom the intercession is made and that's the sinner number four mashfu' fi which means the sin itself the prophet intercedes for what for your sins to be forgiven so that's why it's called mashfu' fi are you following i'll give you this example now a father has a naughty son giving him tough time driving him not all the time The police they called him come we caught your son red handed breaking a car stealing the father rushed to the police station he found that the officer in charge the police officer is one of his close very close friends oh it is you yeah what to do children nowadays huh please children don't give your fathers and parents a huh? tough time huh good so the police officer because he is his friend he say see we'll give him a chance this time cuz i know you you are a very good person but you have to take care of your child okay second time you not see him the father says thank you now who's the shafi who's the intercessor the father okay who's mashfu' ilayhi the police officer right Who's mashfu' lahu? The boy. The father is interceding for his own son, right? What is the mashfu' fi? Breaking the car. The crime. Are you following? Is it clear to you now? So now on the day of resurrection, who's the shafi'? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Who's the mashfu' ilayhi? Allah. Who's the mashfu' lahu as sinners? Mashfu' fi the dhunub, the sins. So these are the four elements of the shafa'a intercession. Is this clear to everyone? Okay, good. <clears throat> of course, my dear brothers and sisters, on the day of resurrection there are different types of shafa'a, not only one. intercession different types this what we mentioned it is special for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam only and this will be granted to him on the day of resurrection and this is very specific and there is a general shafa'a that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also will intercede but also others will intercede on the day of resurrection the prophets messengers shuhada right the shaheed he intercedes for 70 of his family members 70 of them they are in the hell fire and allah tells him go and bring them out subhanallah see the honor that allah gives to the martyrs allahu akbar 70 of his family they are all in jahannam and he brings them out 
also the righteous people they intercede also the children who died before reaching the age of puberty we call them al afrat as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam called them afrat those little ones who died before reaching the age of puberty they are in the jannah and they will intercede for their parents if the parents happen to be in the hell fire the angels as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the angels will tell those children go inside go in the jannah don't come out they say no we will remain at the gates of the jannah till you bring our parents we want to see our parents and allah will tell the angels go and bring their parents allahu akbar allahu akbar yes you feel sad and and it's painful when you lose one of your beloved ones but when you know that this child is there waiting for you is there waiting for you so they are children they also intercede 